Yo, what's going on guys? Pantheon jungle is hecka spicy as long as you have a bigger back line than the enemies because he's one of the tankiest champions in the game if you time his E properly. Ooh, auto cute. Hooters in my jungle. I think I win this though. Because he already used his R. Auto cute. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, that's actually insanely good. This guy's dead too. Auto cute auto. Yep. I think I might still live. I need to hit the... Oh, I, maybe I should have smited. I don't know if my jungle pet would heal me off a of smite, but I know hitting the monster camp, I would get a really good heal. We want to get as much of this as we can. Udyr was going to choose my raptors because I blocked him off at my blue buff. Udyr is hyper meta now because they bug fixed him, so his passive comes back a lot faster. Anyways, Pantheon's really good if you have a strong backline. That's one requisite to pick him. Also, you don't want your team to be a full AD. We have Lux on our team, so the enemies can't just stack full armor and win the game. It's that simple, really. Pantheon's Q does crit. The enemies are below 20% health. So how we blew up Udyr. Very, very nice. Level 2. We'll go auto W. Cancel him out of his auto. Auto Q. After attacking 5 times with the abilities and autos, we'll get an empowerment on our next ability. Q is more damage. W is basically more damage plus 3 on hit effects. And then your E is a speed up, essentially. Interesting. I think they might have changed that. So he gets extra armor and magic resist as well. It's not just a speed up. That's really interesting. I have a smite charge, which is kind of awkward. We should have used that on red. Or Krugs. Because now I have two smites. Uh, I could do something bot. I have two smite charges, though. Maybe I'll just take this guy's blue. Wait, there's no way this is warded, right? Oh, he's acting like it is. Maybe it is. Oh, this is bad. I don't have my stun. Hmm, that sucks. I'm actually going to die here if he stuns me. Put down my E, W... I'll walk away from that. I can still throw a spear in and do something. Jinx is on ghost, so she's going to be a handful for these guys. The W auto Q. Down he goes. I have enough health to do something here. Good with the Q. E. Block all the Kaisa damage. Auto. This is a really messy game. I've kind of messed it up by having both smite charges, though. Super, super, super pointless on my part. I'll go ahead and uh, just push out here. We had a well-timed E blocked everything. Kaisa thought she was going to cheese us, but we had an empowered E. Got a little bit of movement speed bonus. Any E would do there. I want this. Ooh, phase rush Aatrox. That's hecka dicey. You don't really want that on your team. You pretty much always empower W. It can't miss like your Q and it also stacks your passive three times. So it's pretty safe. Brand doesn't have boots. I have boots. Here we go. You got the W auto Q auto. Okay. Uders here. Imagine that. I need to get passive up. I might actually be able to kill them. Or at least get brand. That's fine. I'll go for raptors. Since raptors, I don't mind doing empowered Q because the camp is AoE. Hit the whole thing at once. I'm going to hold. Eh, I would like to prefer to hold on passive there for the gank. I don't want your passive to be full charged for it. This isn't warded. This should be a free kill. I stun and then luck snares. It's that simple. She's going for a different person than I am. Auto Q. TF support's a kind of a funny pick. I need to back off. I'm getting a, quite a bit of gank value. Just don't have any CS is the the bad part. 
We're gonna use a smite charge immediately here. Auto W, Q, auto E. Big ol' crit. I have enough health to come back. I, I can't see the enemies doing anything though because Kais is low. I guess I could say we're just top side. They're being kind of greedy anyways. Oh, they know I'm here. I have boots. She has boots. Flash W. Auto Q. This bush is warded. Can you believe that? Got him with the Q. It crit him because he's below 20% health. And I can't walk through the turret. We already knew where Uder was, so it's pretty safe all in all. Volley Bear's Giga dominating right now. That's going to be tough. I have Eclipse. I could run up there and beat the heck out of him. Can't afford tier 2s, or can I? Typically, you go for Plated or Mercs on this character. Swifties can be a little bit awkward. We have the uh, Brand Stun, TF Stun, Uder Stun, Volley Bear Stun. All their CC Merc Treads will be able to interact with. To where it wouldn't... Having not having mercs here would be bad. Plus Uder magic damage, Volibear lots of magic damage, Kaisa has magic damage. They're very magic damage heavy. Oh, Uder took my stuff. He's basically just farming. He's got no kills. W auto Q E. Cancel the E. Down he goes. We need to get drag. How does Irelia keep dying? Like every time I look, she's Dead. Like Brand solo kills her and Brand still has high health. Uder's actually gonna be right here. Wait, is this warded? Am I high? No, it's not warded. It's just a stupid red orb. I guess I'll go bot. My bot lane's not coming to Uder. I got my passive up. Alright, here we go. She's slowed. I have the corner on her though. She's got nowhere to go. I'll hover cursor. Got the W, auto Q, auto E. Got my big and power Q ready. Hit TF. Nice. I think we could still kill Uder, honestly. He's going to be on Gromp. Oh, yeah, he's on it right now. He just got it. That sucks. He's going to be on Wolves now. We need to get on him without him seeing us. Ooh, wolves are... What? Alright, that's a little confusing. Maybe we should just drag. I'm kind of low as the thing. I don't know what this Irelia is thinking. I guess she's thinking she wants drag. I wouldn't mind her tanking. She has Vampiric anyways. This is really, really bad that they're coming for this. For us. Because I'm way too low to be fighting this. Even with Eclipse advantage. Like they could get a lot out of this. I'll grab red buff and then I can gank bot. My R is up. I need Lux to be there though. It's always best to cancel your E if you don't need it to block damage. Because it does pretty much all of its damage at the end anyways. Passive back up. And TF's coming back bot side. I'm going to R right on his head. Wait, where the heck did he go? He actually ran the other way? The W auto. Dang, Jinx got it. Whatever. This isn't warded. She's got nowhere to go. Lux just needs to hold snare until my stun hits. W auto Q E. Wait, we missed Lux snare. But she was stunned. Brand's tanky. He's got giant's belt. Yeah, they're playing for top side objectives. We'll just have to play Draxel win calm. That's fine. 
TF spot backside. I'll go over there. Let's see if he's got anything topside. He's a gig of farming. W auto Q E. Get that one last auto for the crit. TF's about to see me if he doesn't already see me. I don't have stun up though. Okay, yeah, Uder has almost double my CS. It's freaking wonky, man. We're gonna max our E. Well, you can max your E or your W second. I'm primary frontline, so I'll max E second. Yeah, so Uder is probably on my wraps here. Uh, he is f faster. Such an annoying player to running around. Lol. That I really ping was really good. I need to get tier 2 boots. This Uter's being a nuisance. Auto W. Q auto E. Oh, this is really, really bad. Dude, they still have everything, too. Aatrox does nothing. Phase Rush Aatrox making the new meta right there. Oh, man, they got my bounty, too. Uder's going to be giga-fed now. Way more fed than I am. Got 900 gold off of killing me once. I'll delay tier 2 boots. Just pick up Cleaver. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going to R bot Pantheon or uh, Brands out on his own. What does he have? Tier 1 boots. My R is a slow. I need some vision on him before I pull the trigger, though. All right, that works. I just need to have a general idea. Auto W, Q, Auto E. Count the smite. Oh, Jinx is standing right on top of me here. Q auto W. She's still inside of it. Auto Q. I have Black Cleaver, buddy. Ah, his cooldowns are so low with Navari. I win that if I can survive till my E, but... He had all of his abilities back up even though he just cheesed the Jinx there. Navari is actually not bad on Pantheon. You can get it back really fast with uh, your w Empowered W. It might be kind of awkward with the stats it gives though attack speed and crit we don't necessarily need it. we just want 80 and ability haste dragon's coming up we need to be there early for that i know i can solo him it's gonna be hard though i'd probably save my e for his when his lightning falls man he's fast Oh, cool. He still landed everything. He's trying to heal off me. Ooh, got him with the shutdown. If I didn't have I <laughs> Jinx R with Irelia, I'd probably lose that. I don't think they'll fight this with uh, their top lane dead. Their top lane is pretty valuable for them. Nice. Volibear is extremely dangerous. If he Ws the same person twice, he gets a massive health based on his missing health. He has constant E spam for shielding. That builds super scary if he can auto attack. He basically doesn't have cooldowns. My R is about to be up. I'll try to get on Kaisa. She's really weak. I'm pretty sure Skyfall gives me my passive full stacked anyways. W, Q, E. Get with a smite Q. Uh, give him the Q auto W. Auto Q. Oh, Brand came. Yikes. I, oh, I was so close. Got the Kaisa R at least. Aatrox get Uder. Nice, nice, nice. 
I kind of do want to try the Novori. Chicken at the 57% win rate build, though. Let's be Spear of Shojin next. There's more ability haste, essentially. Bork would be good here. I think I'll just swap over to Bork. We'll just play the Eclipse Cleaver. Yeah, that's Pantheon's core. Look at his top six win rate builds, at least when it comes to jungle. It's all Eclipse Cleaver, Eclipse Cleaver, Eclipse Cleaver, Eclipse Cleaver. It's the third item plus that change. The first two, it's the same every time, really. Probably just took my Krug, the little butthole. Auto Q auto, W auto E. Bro, what is this damage? Good grief. That's with him being mega shredded by my uh, Black Cleaver too. Mm, if I can get in range, it's kind of hard though. I'll just get my red. Uder's two full items. <laughs> It's all from that freaking bounty he got. W auto Q auto. Auto Q auto E. Auto W Q. Yeah, I'm doing a, a little bit of excess farming at the moment. I'm not seeing much opportunity on the map. Hmm. I'm wondering if I'm on a ward. Nice. He cleared the wave though. He's gonna R the back line for Kaisa. And get a big bull and nothing. Flash W auto Q E. Cancel the E auto. Auto Q. Down he goes. Barely were able to kill him. He's so tanky. Throw a max range Q just to get some damage on him. You almost never throw a max range Qs because they miss. Plus it puts your Q on full cooldown, which is never good. W auto Q E. Cancel the E auto. Boop. They all throw it because he's stuck still. Alrighty. Dragon up in 40. They're actually starting to lose pretty hard. They're not grouping up well enough. I'm going to reset for Bork. Bork's going to be big for killing Udyr and Volibear having percent base damage, which our power W auto applies three times. From here, man, it's tough. I'd say Shoujin it's for the ability haste. Pantheon's extremely ability reliant. That little speed up there. It all drags up. See who's on it. Volley's dead. He's on the wrong, getting him, boys. W out of QE. Got him with the smite slow, but I'm getting giga slowed by him. I'm actually just gonna die. I need Hex Drinker. Uder, Brand, Leandres, they stack these days. Getting shredded. Losing 4% of my max health per second. I could go Kanic. Kanic might actually be better than uh, Ma. Yeah, Kanic's on the front end of your health bar, so it gets more consistent value than Ma. A lot of fights, Ma doesn't even pop.
Boop. Can't quite reach Kaisa. Oh, here's Uder. R W Q E. Oh, this is not great. Jack Jimmy finishes in powered Q there. He's too tanky. <laughs> Even with my full black cleaver application. Uder's too meta to die like that. I need a single monster camp to finish my jungle item. Oh, we did our job. As long as my AD carry is alive. Who's tanking that? Is that Jinx or Irelia? Oh, it's Irelia. I'm just gonna R out for my red buff. I need to get a freaking camp. Finch jungle item. Voidbird's on my camps because he's a rat. Ooh, never mind. He's running away. Nice. Buy a big chunk of Kanic. Don't mind if I do. Their team's all magic damage, really. All the real damage that comes in is magic. There's only a little back trickle that's physical for now. Because they're TF and Kaiser, so far behind. W auto QE. Cancel the E auto. I'm on my way. Aatrox might win that solo. We'll be close. Boop. Oh, the kill still. <laughs> Red buff auto Q. Missed my Q. Cancel the E. Auto W Q. Nice. If he's already low, he's so easy to kill because Pantheon Q crit. So when he's full health, it takes way longer. Passives up. Oh, poor Kaisa. W auto Q E. That was a sick luck snare. I'm just gonna R top. It's a slow into a W auto Q. Down he goes. A very bad comp to fight Pantheon with. I've always banned Malphite. He probably saw his Pantheon top. Jinx shreds volley. I just need to get my Black Cleaver stacks on him. Take away 30% of his armor. Nice. Jinx is two items. Does Jinx need an item or something? I don't have her muted. Uh, blocking stuff with my E. We outran it. Get with the W. Q. Oh, he heals so much. His W was back up. I thought I had a little bit more time. I didn't. I'll get an Executioner's. I need it. I should have gotten that way sooner because of the Bully Bear. He's low at least. Jinx is turbo fed. Lux is kind of turbo fed. And we're about to get Draxol as well. That'll be the nail in the coffin for them. I think the Synchronized Souls is a really bad boot option. It doesn't do enough. It's like... Would you rather have that or Merc Treads? I just don't get it. Ooh, you have Empowered Recall. What value is that when? I don't know. It's just bad. This is basically boots of mobility with an Empowered Recall is all it is. 85 movement speed compared to 
uh, 45 or it's 90 movement speed compared to 45. That's just out of combat though. So it's like a jungler boot, but it takes so long to get synchronized souls that it's not really even early game. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Boop. <laughs> I did nothing. He's got to take off my Kanic. I don't know if he can do it. I'm telling you, Kanic is wildly overpowered. He didn't even take off my Kanic that whole time. Gone with a Q auto. W E. He's going to heal a lot off me, and I'm dead. Oh my gosh, he's so strong. I probably just need to go for Kaisa. He's too tanky. He just he won't die. Even with how fed I am and how fed Lux is. His healing's outrageous. Jinx is going to win this. It's the biggest counter to Volibear's 80 carries in the late game. Volibear's shakiness comes from interacting and healing off of people with his W spam. If he can't do that, he's not actually tanky. So. Typically, why you see Volibear needing to end games before 80, and before 80 carries get to three items. Is what I often say. Because third item 80 carries can always go for shred. Like armor shred, like Lord Doms or Terminus or Surlds. And the first two items are just focused on damage and crit usually. Attack speed and crit. Damage and crit. It's a blue buff for everybody. It's past the 20 minute mark. Long as Jinx is here, when I jump out on Volibear, he should probably die. One empowered W auto is a full stack of Black Cleaver, I believe. Or is that at least four out of five stacks? Got it. Got down my E. Oh, I'm going to die, though. Uh, he's hitting me. He's got to hit Jinx is the thing. He's making our life easy going for me. It's good luck shield. Kept me alive a bit longer. Luck shield. Lux redemption. Jinx really is doing the damage because she's not even getting CC'd. She can get all the whole time. We're getting perma CC'd. I can only do so much damage. Lots of physical. To round off the build, we basically just finish Executioners. For an armor item, I don't know. We'd probably go random just because they have two crit technically. It's Volibear, Navorian, Kaisa, crit. Let's get the graphs. Oh, looking at damage dealt against enemy champions. I actually did the most damage in the game. A little surprised by that. Technically, Volibear did slightly more. Uh, less than 100 more. He did 779. I did 759 there. So he had 20 more damage dealt than me. Cool. Uh, pretty solid. I was somehow able to do more than Jinx. Pretty happy with that. Damage taken. We were one of the most in the game. Technically number three. And self-mitigated. And number four. Runes high value. On all, Pantheon jungle is solid. The ganks are above average. The clear is average. And uh, he's just a lot of fun to play. If your team has the bigger backline, he's easy to pull off. You just E at the right time, survive a baseline uh, guaranteed amount of time, and you kind of win the fights by default from there. If you enjoyed this Pantheon Jungle video, let me know what character you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.